Okay, so I had to dub this portion of the video because my GoPro 6 audio was horrible. But basically what I was saying is, um, in this video I take the rock that I acid washed twice and bleached out to power wash it before putting it back in the bin and soaking it uh, in fresh water to get all the bleach and chlorine out. Um, I also, uh, since I am upgrading the tank, I had to upgrade my water storage containers. I had for a while been using a 30 gallon trash bin, um, which worked well, which worked fine with my current 65 gallon setup. Um, but now that I'm moving up to a 140 gallon setup, I will be uh, I will be using a larger container. I went to Tractor uh, Tractor Supply and got a 65 gallon container which I will be using to hold my salt water in the future I am debating on getting another one to hold RODI water um, instead of using the trash bin as well um, as you can see I still have to hang my RODI filter above it and set up the actual container which hopefully will be getting done soon um and then we'll see but this is the pile of rocks that from my old setup that i will be using um and we'll be power washing today uh so hopefully we'll get it set up and make the structure for the beginning at the front end of the tank To get off the darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view While we're at it, might as well clean the truck When you want to get off the darkest ground Alright, so we have the rock all power washed, back in the bin, filled with fresh water, and now it's just time to dump some dechlorinator in there to try to get as much of the chlorine out as possible. I didn't even get to measure, I'm just going to dump a big chunk of it in here, which should be more than enough for this amount of water, but I'd save the rest for the next round. Most likely there'll be another round of fresh water bath before we lay it out to dry. 